Welcome to Reef Diary, day 113. So today, all I'm going to do is show you a bunch of macro shots of the SPS corals on the reef because they're all looking so beautiful. That is the one thing that um, has really cheered me up lately as I look in the reef and, you know, it's different than what I'm used to seeing, but I am seeing more and more vivid color on specific SPS corals. And even when I spoke on the phone today with Dwayne, he says, man, you have got a ton of new choices in there. And I haven't even planted those little buttons that I got from Seachem. <laughs> I still need to scatter those throughout the tank, like Skittles across my reef, right? So I am really looking forward to seeing where the tank is in about six to nine months. But for now, we're really doing very well overall, considering where we've been and what we've gone through. The sea base still is iffy. I'm not sure what's going to happen with it. I'm hoping it will turn around, but I'm not positive. The algae turf scrubber still looks kind of iffy around the center where I feel it was cooked with a lack of water flow when that pump was dead, but the perimeter is all green, so I think that'll fill in nicely. Water quality seems to be staying stable day after day. I'm not having to worry about that or stress about high nitrate or worry about phosphate. I just Everything has come together really, really well, and I'm just happy to have such a healthy reef when it's eight years old. So let's talk about photography briefly here. Uh, all these were shot with a Nikon D500 using a 105 millimeter uh, macro lens. And then after all the images were taken, they were put into Lightroom for post-processing where I clean them up and remove some of the haze and add a little bit of texture and a little bit of, you know, brilliance to make them look really, really good, to make them look like what I see with my eye. I never try to make a coral look fake or unusual or, or alter it or add more, um, what is it, vibrance? You know, I'm not looking for that. All I want to do is give you the best representation of what I see in my own tank. Some things are more vivid than others. And to be honest, there's probably 60, 70% of the stuff in the tank I don't even photograph. And I have to remember, oh yeah, I haven't shown Pavona in forever. So these are all done freehand. I usually use the tank to stabilize the lens against. And I, you know, press the shutter rather than using a remote trigger. Uh, I didn't do this off of a tripod, and I'm sure I could do a better job with uh, a little bit more uh, fine-tuning and a little bit more examples from Michael Vargas, for example. Anyway, that was it for today's Reef Diary, and I hope you enjoyed this. See you tomorrow.